Good morning, Riverwood, and happy Wednesday. There's a wonderful story in the book of Daniel when the Israelites were in exile. Most of us have heard of the fiery furnace since we were children, and in some way or another, we've probably really messed up the names of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We know that God delivered them from the fire, but there's something that they said before being thrown into the furnace that I never really noticed until long after childhood. I'm sure that you're already familiar with it. As King Nebuchadnezzar is talking to them and threatening them, here's what they say in Daniel 3. King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. That's an incredible statement that shows their faith in the absolute power of God and also their trust in God's sovereign wisdom. They're not putting themselves in God's place. They're not trying to answer the question of why they're about to be thrown into the furnace. They are trusting God in whatever path he chooses for them. How I long for that kind of wisdom and trust, the kind that truly says, your will be done. Paul says this in Romans 8. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That list pretty well covers things, doesn't it? Anything else in all creation handles a virus, isolation, a crazy economy, or whatever these unprecedented times throw at us. Paul didn't wake up one day and think, it'd be a great day to be put into prison. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't long to be thrown into a furnace that was seven times hotter than usual. But they trusted God through all of those situations, and we can trust him through all of ours. Father, Increase my faith and trust in you. Help me to realize your amazing power and your amazing love and to totally rest in both of those. Thank you for surrounding us with blessings even in the midst of chaos. Thank you for the wonderful gift of your son and for his victory over death through the power of the resurrection. Be with those that are hurting, those that are fearful, those who are going through loss and separation and changes, and be with those who don't know you and don't know Jesus. Draw us closer to you and help us to be lights for you. Help us to see your glory and your majesty. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Wednesdays aren't the same without you. I miss you and love you and long to see your sweet, smiling faces. Keep praying for each other. Keep loving each other. May today be full of blessings for you.